Hello everyone, uh, what I want to do is now go into a bit more detail on templates and we showed previously that templates were really powerful, that you could transclude information, so write it once, use it many times. And I want to give an example here, so let's say you want to use a template that you can put around your wiki to, to sort of highlight if there are problems of pages. So you could create this template and then that you could place that on various pages. And what we'll do is we'll just demonstrate how you do that and how you do this red box and, and, and a bit of editing there but then what we will talk about is how do you make you, you may want to take a generic template but actually you want to make it a bit more individual depending on if there's different problems with different pages and we'll show you how you can do that so on this page here there is the uh, template so and you can see that it's created using a table and we'll just have a look at the uh, text that created that. Um, we haven't touched this yet, but this is uh, within here is a is a table, and what we've done is we've made it 70% of the page. We've put the background color as red, that's, and we've aligned the uh, text to center, and we've bolded it. So with the uh, three. Uh, three exclamation marks, not exclamation marks, three quote marks, thank you. Um, that creates bold and there a new line bold and what that produces is this. So if we have a bad page and we're going through and we're saying wait a minute um, I just want to highlight that this is a bad page or there's, there should be a page warning to this all we do is a standard calling of a template Save changes. And there you go, you have the warning. And this isn't anything new that we're teaching. Now, let's say you want to be more specific and say, why is this page bad? So let's go back to the template. And what we're going to do is we're going to add an extra line in here. And we're going to add in three curly brackets and type detail okay this now becomes your variable and it becomes an incredibly powerful tool so what we're going to do is we're going to show how you can add variables to templates and that means you can have this uh, framework of a generic template but then have it make it individual depending on how you want that template to appear so we save this okay and now we've got detail here now then if we just refresh this page what you'll see is that detail not much use but this is where it becomes really powerful what we do is we add in a pipe and we make sure we uh, have detail typed exactly the same depending if you use a capital or not what can we say about this page? Uh, the information on this page is in accurate. Save changes. And what's that? What that has done is, is it's transcluded the template, but it's also allowed you to add that little bit of extra information. So initially we started with a generic template and then we looked at how we could make the generic template but then actually make it individual depending on the problem with each page. We did that by adding these three curly brackets and that detail that become, became then the variable. And then we could call the template by the standard template calling with the double brackets but we add in this extra detail equals and whatever the piece of information we wanted to put in there, which in this case was the information this page is inaccurate, but it could be anything. It could be the information is out of date or so on. The point is what we're doing is we're transcluding a template, but also have the ability to change the template depending on what we want to, what we want to do with it. 
Now this starts to become, again, a really, really powerful tool because you can imagine you can have templates with lots of lots of variables in it. So you're creating these objects and then you're able to change these variables inside it. And this will start to become the backbone of how Semantic Media Wiki will be able to attribute uh, information and data to various things. So thank you very much for watching.